Hello everybody, Rope Fox here, and welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock Season 2. This is episode 13, and in the last episode, we were working on getting some Wither Roses. So for those who missed that, I did do a bit of Wither Rose farming, and I came up with a... I was going to say a stack, but I actually have 7 stacks and 5. I didn't really go for any more after that, because what I wanted to do was actually start farming or grinding for some beacons because in this episode we are going to set up a proper shop for a beacon store so you can see i do have 15 nether stars i have 19 beacons ready to go and i am ready to craft up well this isn't for the beacons but it is for the build so with that i know slack and foxy recently made their own wither skull farm so with that, I kind of wanted to put a beacon farm or beacon store together before any other shops popped up. I'm not sure if Gruva is going to make one, but for those who don't know, Gruva is currently giving us his wither skulls and he's actually paying us one diamond block a piece or yeah, one diamond block a piece or a skull and we're just taking those off of his hands. Now for this shop, this, uh, Oh, cave noises. Uh, this is kind of a bust. We only sold two sets of wither skulls. So I took all of those wither skulls and I turned them into nether stars. So the idea for the shop was pretty good. But unfortunately, this shop isn't doing too well. One reason why I think the shop isn't doing too well is, well, the location isn't that great. And even my chicken farm or chicken shop down below uh, isn't the best location what I've realized is that everybody is cramming their shops up here right next to the nether portal so I'm thinking for this shop maybe we should take up some space up here I mean I don't have the idea I have for the shop isn't very big and I'm just trying to find a good place and what I think I want to do to bring some attention is I'm going to make an active beacon so maybe the other members can be like oh where is that beacon coming from and then it'll be bam right in front of their face somewhere and I'm just trying to find a good spot I'm considering right here right there and there is the staircase that goes down to these shops and there is all of this real estate up here but underneath is all of Zloy's redstone for the all store and I do have an idea of possibly adding some redstone to this build I'm not quite sure yet but I would love to have that option and with that unfortunately I can't build up there with all of that nice space so I think the best bet and of course like I mentioned I do want to have an active beacon and I think this is looking again like a good spot because I think I think as we walk through the portal here, we should be able to get the status effect from the beacon. But even if not, as soon as you come through the portal, I mean, you're going to see the shop just sitting right there. And hopefully that will help us make some sales on top of them being beacons. Now, I was trying to think of what I want the shop to look like. And, well, I did something, I guess, not totally original, but I think it will look cool. I want to make a giant beacon so I'm placing down the obsidian base and the shop is just going to be this little 3x3 area here with I guess just a chest in the center that is going to hold all of the beacons. I mean we are only selling one item and I think one chest should be enough at least at a time and we'll have a doorway right here and if we take a look at the beacon so we do have that obsidian base. There is glass around the outside, which I'm going to use this for, and hopefully I have enough if I count it correctly. And then we need to do something about the center. So what I'm thinking is we can place some sea lanterns in the center for the glowy part, and then I want to use some warp stem, and I'm going to strip it and use that for the outer bluish color of the beacon. So I think that should look good. And let me go ahead and build this up. This is a little bit of a progress update. So I placed in all of the warp stem. Still have to learn these names. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm pretty sure I grabbed the right block. Well, okay. Yeah, I was going to say we're about to find out. 
So we're going to go ahead and strip this, and that's going to give us that outside color, and that definitely goes good with the sea lanterns. I really like that. Not really many blocks that would go for prismarine. So again, I'm really loving these new blocks. And let's see if my axe can survive. I doubt it. Oh, there it goes. And let's go ahead and grab this one. There we go. Now I do need to add a top side to this. And what I'm thinking is, well, I need to cap it off with something because at the moment, oop, we got to fill that in also. So at the moment, do I have my scaffolding on me? Of course I don't. I did have scaffolding. So for the top, let's go ahead and hop on up. So I don't want to have this. That is something I don't want. So I'm going to have to convert these into... I'm pretty sure we can make these the uh, stem... Sure. Man, I, I need to learn... I need to learn these names so bad. But I'm thinking of the wood where, you know, it's wood texture like this on all four sides. And I doubt there is a crafting table over here. Do I even have one? Nope, I don't. So let me go ahead. Uh, totally came prepared, huh? So I'm going to go ahead and craft up those thingies I'm talking about. And I will be right back. Stripped, warped, hyphae is what I was looking for. And... Well, pretty much the texture, as you can see here, we don't have uh, what would be the inside of the wood for this. So it's, you know, like the wood texture all the way around. It's such a weird word. Stripped, warped, hyphae. I'm probably saying that wrong. Strips. Stripped, warped, hyphae. <laughs> uh, that's totally not it. But <laughs> go ahead and do this. And I wonder if we should have the beacon. Actually, we should. Well, let's complete this. We have enough. This. Oh, that cuts way quicker, too, it seems like, than when it wasn't warped neelium. There we go. I think I got the word right that time. So let's do that. And boom. There we go. That part is done. We have our entrance right here. And now all we need to do is place in some glass and like I said this is pretty quick and easy build and you know I feel like it's not totally original I'm sure this has probably been done a bunch of times but you know we do have the new block to work with here so I guess we can kind of say it's original I don't know maybe <laughs> but let's go ahead I want to go and grab this glass and well clear out my inventory once again it is full of junk and I'm going to go ahead and place glass all around this build. There we go. That definitely looks like a beacon. And I am standing at the entrance of the nether portal. Again, the idea is when the member walks through, they're going to see all of this stuff here. And then they're going to see the beacon shop right there. So I place a glass all the way around. And I used just almost three stacks. I was left over left with one piece of glass from the third stack so yeah that definitely that definitely looks like a beacon to me now with that i was mentioning adding some sort of redstone to the build i mean we could call it a day we can end the episode here make it a short episode and say yep the shop is all done all we need to do is place a chest inside and lay down the beacons but that would be that would be kind of boring, and I haven't done much redstone. Well, that's a lie. We, we did a whole whole item sorter system in the last episode, but that was in between takes. That's when I was just waiting around for wheat to grow. But I think it's been a minute before we've actually done some redstone on camera. So let's go ahead and place in... The red, I mean, well, first of all, let's check. Let's check. We have to make sure we actually have space underground to do this. And oh boy, I need to repair that shovel. So I think it should be fine. Yeah, there should be, there shouldn't be anything under here, which is what I was expecting. Like I mentioned, as soon as we broke the first layer above Zoe's shop, I mean, it was all all of his redstone down below, and we definitely don't want to mess 
with any of that. So, yeah, we should definitely have some space down here. At least I hope I might have built too close to the edge. But let me, well, I'm going to have to head back to the base, grab the red kit, and let's see what we can come up with. What I'm thinking we can do is make a piston feed tape that's going to cycle these different colored glass blocks. And as you can see here, we do have the red one letting off a red beam. So this piston feed tape is going to be active the whole time. And it's going to cycle through all of these colors here. Now, for the redstone, let's go ahead and we need to place a repeater here. And this needs to be on two ticks of delay. Another one here on four. Line these up with the redstone, and both of these pistons here are going to be on... Well, they have no ticks of delay. They're going to be firing at the same time. We'll see how that works in just a moment. And then we do need to set up the redstone clock. Now, with a beacon and the way it processes, I guess, the way the beam goes through the, the glass block, we have to keep it a little slow because if it goes too fast it's not going to register that it changed colors so we do have to keep the timing a little bit slower and to do that what we need to do is place this block here porch that's going to we're gonna have a rest of the line going over here and then we want to do four repeaters on each side and each of these are going to be on four ticks of delay so we got a little bit of lag four Four, 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 one more four, redstone, and then we're going to have that. So that is going to be extended. See, it did switch, switch colors. Now, to get this clock going, I'm going to need a redstone block. So, do this, and we're going to give this a little jump start. Boom. There we go. Oh, what? Hold on. Did I do something wrong here? Um, I should have done it. Maybe I didn't break the block in time. Okay, there we go. So yellow is going to switch. And it's kind of interesting. So it's showing the color before. So we have purple, we have magenta, and go back to red. So there's a little bit of a delay still before it actually switches over. Yeah, but it is working. That's, that's so weird. So let's go ahead and this would look really good if it were nighttime. So there we go. We have the beacon that is all built. And then, of course, we have this beam here changing colors. And as far as the, I didn't think about it, the strength of the beacon is determined by how big we make it. So I only made a 3x3 three three area, so we don't really get much range on the, on the beacon effect. So I'm already running out of range, but you know what? It's alright. And there we go. The beacon shop is officially open for business. We have our sign, one beacon for one diamond block, with the cool beam going through, changing colors. And then, of course, we do have the beacons inside so hopefully again with this being right here at the entrance of the nether portal we make a bunch of sales because we do come through this way and we immediately see this and i really love really love the changing colors of the beacon i think that's really cool it gives it a nice little effect so this shop is once again officially done and with that said everyone this is going to be the end of today's episode we got a bit accomplished. We just worked on this shop mainly today, but hey, that's all right. This definitely needed to come up again with Slack and Foxy having a Wither Skull farm. I know it's just a matter of time before beacon shops start opening up, or at least I would think so, but we want to be the first to the market and hopefully we can make some sales with our great location here and our fancy little beacon store and also our fancy lighting. So hopefully that draws an attention. And hopefully we make ourselves quite a few diamond blocks. That would be really sweet. But with that being said, everyone, this is going to be the end of today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.